Oh my gosh, yeah, it's crazy. This is my first post. Um, so the caption is, introducing Isaiah Negron, young Simba from The Lion King. He's really silly, but we have some great shows. So basically, he was my young Simba when I was performing on Broadway. And we had like the best shenanigans um, in our dressing rooms and it was basically just we had the best time. That was February 3rd, 2015. Oh my gosh, yeah, it's crazy. My mom found an audition on the radio um, and basically it was like a shot in the dark and we were like, let's audition for it. <laughs> um, so my sister and I, we had to wake up at like 5 a.m. Um, to go to like the Apollo Theater for like an open call for The Lion King on Broadway. Um, and it was raining, it was, kind of insane, but we had a really fun time. And then I started getting more callbacks and more callbacks. And then we were like, okay. <laughs> um, and then eventually that was my first show that I ever booked. Um, also my first audition. So that was, it was really nerve wracking. After Lion King, I went on to the show School of Rock on Broadway. Um, and I was in the original cast of that. Um, and that was a lot of fun. I mean, I, I didn't play an instrument, but I, but I did play Madison the roadie. Um, and I was really just happy to be a part of um, to be a part of that show. I can definitely scroll you there. Super scroll. I think that I'm getting close. Yep, here it is. Okay, so this was like some of my. This was like close to like my first day um, performing, um, but it was it was a lot of fun, um, and I think that we really just had a great time. Um, it was at the Winter Garden Theater. Um, and I was just so excited. I wore my cute little, my cute little two buns. That was my signature style back then. Um, it kind of still is when, when I'm not doing press or anything. <laughs> um, but the caption is just bringing some hashtag school of rock cheer straight from the hashtag winter garden period, hashtag hottie bear, hashtag Madison. That was my dad. <laughs> I know that was my dad. <laughs> um, it brings back so many memories because that was my second job, second audition, just having a great time being, you know, Madison and being, you know, some of my favorite characters from my childhood. So I'm really glad that I got to do those. Um, and I'm really glad that I got to start out on Broadway and then go into film. Because I feel like Broadway is kind of like a boot camp for film. Okay. so. This was my first like film experience. This was Hairspray Live. Um, and I played Little Inez um, and that was a lot of fun. I grew up watching Hairspray. Um, so this was like one of my favorite films and I definitely saw myself in the character. Um, so I was definitely excited when I booked this role because she, she's basically like me. Okay, so the caption is, <laughs> It's only fitting that the hashtag Hairspray Live commercial would air during Saturday Night Live hosted by hashtag Lin Manuel Miranda. <laughs> he was like, Lin Manuel Miranda was like my favorite, favorite person ever when, um, when I was still on Broadway. I think that he probably still is. This was a picture of me and Ariana Grande. Very amazing. She played Penny. Um, in Hairspray, so we got to work together and that was really, really amazing. Um, so the caption is, missing at Ariana Grande's great tour performances. I know they're rocking. We'll definitely catch one before it ends. Heart, heart, heart. Hashtag Hairspray Live. Hashtag Broadway Kids. At Broadway, <laughs> at Broadway, at Young Broadway News, at The Lion King, at SOR Musical, at NBC Hairspray Live at Jamie Prod, the hashtags, the hashtags. Oh wait, hashtag dangerous woman, hashtag Shahadi Wright Joseph. And I got 2000 likes on that post. Um, so thank you hashtags, thank you Ariana Grande. Okay, so this is a picture of me and JD McCrary um, during like our first week of shooting. Um, so that was 
that was us. And we were like little, little beans. And he was taller than me then. <laughs> um, but I did not, I didn't even put a caption on this because we could not say anything about the film. Um, so I was like trying to act all mysterious, like, there you go, guys. There you go, Instagram. Just a picture of me and JD. Who knows what's happening? Um, and of course, there were no hashtags. So I got 368 likes. There we go. Well, I love Beyonce a lot. She's so incredible and she inspires me like every day. Um, and I think maybe, ooh, Regina King, Ava DuVernay, she's an incredible director. Um, of course, Jordan Peele. I mean, I was a big fan of him even before Get Out. Um, so I think that they've just been inspiring me for a really long time. And I don't know, I feel like maybe I've been speaking like my success like into existence by you know being inspired by these amazing directors and like hoping that I will get to work with them one day if you love the skin well today I have a platform that a lot of people can look up to um, so I really love the I'm really careful about the messages that I'm putting out for people to hear um, so I think that you know skin I'm in is a good message for for people to listen to and for people to use, um, you know, in their life. <laughs>